Okay. Uh, I'm going to be doing some video commentaries. This is Dear White People stars, directors discuss racism and double standards. And if you're a Patreon and at the $1 level or above, Scarlett Johansson passed as a trans man. An angry rambler. I'll be taking a look at that, but for that, you do have to be a patron. Or a Steven. Whichever. Alright, let's listen to these fucking dipshits. That's the theme song. We sing it ourselves. Thank you. Logan, what's up? You know, I'm really good. I'm hanging out with you. Okay, cool. A lot of people have a lot of questions, including me. Okay, fair enough. One of the questions I have it kind of has to do with... Okay, if you're going to yap about white people, you could at least have a white person there. But it's Huffington Post, so... With double standards. Okay. I mean, the title of the show, Dear White People, is that not a double standard? Why is Dear White People acceptable and Dear Black People wouldn't be acceptable? Right, yeah. Because you people would cry about it and complain about it nonstop. So first of all, I would say that it's an assumption that the show is finger wagging or blaming white people for something. I watched the preview. That kind of was. And it's also an incorrect assumption. It's actually a, a show about the experience of being a marginalized group amongst a bigger group that doesn't know. How the fuck are you people marginalized? You just got done doing a show funded by Netflix, if I remember correctly. You're sitting at Huffington Post using their rather large platform to spew your bullshit. How in the fuck are you marginalized? You will also have a built-in audience that will buy this bullshit no matter what because it makes them feel so fucking virtuous. Necessarily see you. All of American culture is kind of a dear black people. We are very aware of where we fit and don't fit in culture. No. Because if a white person dares grow their head hair in dreadlock form, you have a bunch of black people whining and crying about cultural appropriation, despite the fact that dreadlocks actually originated in Scandinavia. Culture just by watching television. On the other side, unfortunately, uh, because oppression is very real in this country, if a white person makes jokes about- How the fuck are you- How the fuck is anyone oppressed? Go fuck yourself. About black people? That actually affects black people's lives. Yeah. How the fuck is me making a joke? going to affect your life how the fuck is that possible that's, that's not, not a, a double, double standard. standard turn me up okay turn me and up a little bit based on the phones and there we go there we go logan i have a question to ask you talk to me because we've been talking about double standards right is it not a double standard that black folks can say the n-word and it's in like black music i know i don't want to answer the question myself that's why i'm asking you Tell how me. many things do white people have <laughs> how many all Actually, not a whole lot. The things. We have to share our things, but you get to keep your things. They have all of the things. I mean, seriously. How many times do you, if a white person does something that is typically associated with black people, they get screamed at about being culturally appropriative? Okay, but white people seem to share our culture. There's Otherwise, give up your goddamn smartphones. This one thing. Uh -huh. There's this one word one thing. We that for one black thing. people took and used as a form of endearment, and it's ours. Mm -hmm. Let us have this one word. Just the one word. Okay, then you give up capitalism. So much hatred behind it when it yeah. comes from the mouths of others, and this is something that we've turned into a very special, casual term, right. not to be used. Yeah. Sorry. Again, words only have the power you let them. We made medicine out of our poison. Hey. Yeah. Is that so wrong? No, I don't think so. And so what you're saying is, this is not a double it's standard. It's not a double standard. Not at all. Yet you can call white people cracker and all that other shit and that's just fine. I feel like I'm in a safe space. You want to know why? Oh God, you're an adult. You don't need a safe space, bitch.
We're at HuffPost Black Voices. It feels safe for me too. It's a thing. I think some people might wonder why can't there be a HuffPost White Voices? See, here's the thing that's called HuffPost. And oh. oh, yeah. HuffPost never, never fucking reports on black people. That never happens. Are you people retarded? The entirety of the internet. Mm. Black folks have to create our own channels so that we can have a voice and be a part of the mainstream culture, because otherwise, we'd be silent. Yeah. Uh, you have been a part of the mainstream culture since the 40s. Get over it. We have to be able to honor each other, too. We need a platform yes. to be able to say congratulations for doing that great piece of work. How you have it! Does the NAACP not give out fucking awards anymore? How many black actors and musicians and athletes have gone through history and yes. haven't been recognized because there wasn't that platform? None of them! If you're an exceptional athlete, you're going to get recognized. If you're an exceptional musician, you're going to get recognized. Even when Jim Crow and segregation and racism was at its fucking height in this country. Black people still got fucking recognized. What planet are you people on? The assumption is that if you're an American citizen, you know, you have the right to freedom and happiness and all these wonderful things, except if you're black, or right. except if you're a- What force is stopping you from enjoying life, liberty, property, happiness, blah, blah, blah? I don't think there's one. Part of a marginalized, or, yeah. Exactly. So basically what I think you're saying is this is not, not a, a double, double standard. standard. I don't think you people know what that fucking word means. Yeah, turn my mic up there. Now everyone can hear me. Super real, go ahead. Great. Reverse racism. When a white person gets their feelings hurt mm. by a joke that a black person might make about white people. Oh. Okay, all right. You know, they people got feelings, Logan. They have valid feelings. I understand. Feelings. I understand. <laughs> Is this a double standard that black people can be subjugated to racism and white people can't? Right. Well, I mean, I think you have to start by understanding. That okay. If I say the wrong joke, you people cry and cry and cry, and the faggots at Huff Post will fucking massage your fucking egos. You're completely dismissive of a joke hurts my feelings. That. Black people can't be racist. Oh, black people can't be racist. That statement in and of itself is racist. I do agree. There is no reverse racism. There's just plain old fashioned racism. Black people can be prejudiced. They yes. can be. Oh, they can be prejudiced. Isn't that racist? Bias, but they can't be racist. And why is that? Tell me. Well, what is racism? Racism is the oppressed oppression of a marginalized group in a society that's based on white supremacy. No, it's not. I don't know where you came up with that definition. I don't know who gave you that definition. If you would point that person out to me, I would slap them in the face. Racism is basically not liking someone based on nothing more than their skin color. Well, MBD. And also, you're not fucking oppressed. I'm sorry. Show me your oppression. How are you fucking oppressed? Sorry, <laughs> Spoiler you, alert. if you are a white person, then you naturally benefit from white privilege. Anyone? Uh, I don't have any white privilege. Anyone can hate. Sorry, it doesn't exist. No matter how many times you motherfuckers say it, it doesn't fucking exist. Hate somebody because of what race they are, and bigotry is really awful. But the thing is, racism, like you said, it's systemic. It's baked into our society. No, it's not. No, it's not. Because if it was, we'd still have Jim Crow. Yeah. Y'all ain't oppressed. I'm sorry. I mean, for Christ's sakes, you motherfuckers can't handle it when a fucking cake shop owner refuses to bake a cake. Sorry. By yeah. the way, it's not as good as it sounds. You don't want to be <laughs> oppressed. <laughs> yeah, why? Why do you want this thing? This all right. That's about all I can fucking handle from these two morons. All right, and uh, like I said, check out this video. But for that, you must be a patron.